With stunning views like these, those who visit the refuge often say it's no surprise it's up for this national award. The crews decided not to seed yesterday. So what you're seeing here is the result of good old mother nature helping us out. And that cloud seeding picked back up today. Eilers said they're pleased with the water they saw here in the city, but they still want to see more water in those lakes. Reporting live in Lawton, Lauren Halverson, 7 News. At one point, the water was so high and so powerful that it took apart a concrete bridge. Luckily, water levels have gone down quite a bit, but officials are still warning citizens to be safe. You hear the notification. Pick up the phone and start texting. It's easy how quickly you can become distracted. Lieutenant Crawford of the Lawton Police Department said he just stopped to help an injured man, but that's when he found out the horror of what allegedly happened in this hotel room. It's been a very long night. Cotton County Emergency Manager Sean Strange was up until 3 this morning rescuing citizens from the floods. He says the biggest problem he's seen is people ignoring flooded roads that are closed for good reason. They have no idea how deep it is. Uh, we did have a water rescue here last night about midnight. Uh, we've got to try to keep people out of the water is the main thing. They are, they are still just coming down constantly. Yesterday, emergency personnel were able to drive up and down Elevator Road until about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. But today, it's a little different story. Our county roads went from pretty good damage to we're just missing roads now. We've ran out signs early into this. I mean, we, we can't even shut down all the roads we have washed out. With the flooding out here in Walters, lots of folks have been displaced, even little critters like this guy. Seen tons of different types of fish, crawdads, snakes, turtles, uh, beavers, uh, and then the people. People like Bobby Combs, who says his brother Swift Rescue saved him from his flooded home this morning. He backed his pickup up to the, to the docker and I got on the back of the pickup and we got out of here. Combs has lived in this home for 30 years, but says he's never seen anything like this before. Water was like about an inch right there coming in, the, in my building. And that's the highest it's ever been. And with more flooding on the forecast, Combs no. is trying to stay optimistic. I can't say as I'm fond of the idea, but I guess we got to live with what we got.